What's cozy, everybody? It's your boy, Cozy Lightskin. And today I got three whole ass stories for y'all. Alright, so let's just get straight into it. So, it was like maybe three, four years ago. And we did a lot of road trips, me and my family. And this road trip, we went down to St. Louis. And we pull up to our hotel, you know, things are going handy dandy. Ah, uh, man, why'd I say that? But we're gonna keep it going. Anyways, so we get all situated in our hotel and downstairs they had a gym and there are some treadmills So, you know, your boy had to get on that get some exercise But after a while of running, you know, I turned it down and I started feeling cool trying to do this like leg over leg running sideways thing and You know, it was going good for a second, right? I'm over here. I got the feet work I was I was going in and my mom saw me and she was like, boy, you gonna bust your ass doing that. And, you know, I was like, you know, Ma, I got this. I did this once freshman year in my gym class. But, <laughs> shit, you know. And once she said that, your boy tripped over himself. But I wasn't going down without a fight. And you know how, like, when you see those people slip on ice and they just don't give up? Yeah, that's what this looked like. And keep in mind, it was only going like 20, so it's not going like hella fast, all right? It was going fast enough for me to struggle though. And, but what had me bent was my mom. She stops her treadmill to watch me struggle. And after like three minutes of trying to catch myself, I finally gave up and slid off. I felt so stupid. Like my mom might as well just put me on world star. But thank God no one was in that gym to see that. Just, monstrosity like oh my gosh but okay it gets worse this hotel gym had a big ass window for everyone in the street to see so if someone just happened to look to their right and a little bit up they would have seen this struggle they would have seen the light skin that couldn't but all right now for story two so it was freshman year and it was in science class and we were doing this project with like slinkies where we had like someone held it from one end the other guy went like stood over it one other side and held the other and someone took notes like i don't know they had to do some weird shit and so my nigga on the other side thinking he's a comedian like fake let go i don't play that shit nigga i'm not getting hit in the face with a metal slinky so i let go Oh and when I realized that he didn't let go, I was shook. I was like, oh my God. Okay. And bro had just a red mark on his face. And then his eyes just start watering up. And that's when I knew I was fucked. So the teacher sees what happens and is like, Josh, go to the fucking deans. I'm like, ah. all right. So I had to shame walk my way over to there. And now for the final, final story. This one hits home, guys. So <laughs> this was when Ant-Man came out. And me, my sister, and my mom all went to go see it. And we were sitting up at the back. And this black guy was sitting up in the front. And when the movie was over, this guy pulls, he pulls out his phone and me thinking I'm a comedian was like, get off your phone. <laughs> Got him. This dude stands up and just starts walking up the stairs towards us. And in my head, I'm like, it's a prank. It's a prank. But he gets up to the, the row in front of us. And my mom and my sister both point to me. And he's like, little bro, I'll be off myself with this bull, little bro. I'm like, on me and this dude left but he left his daughter i swear to god this little girl stood up looked at me like majestic as fuck and then dipped but i'm traumatized all right this was probably the first experience i've ever had of something like this ever happening that didn't make sense but you get the gist and then we went home i got to sit in the front so i guess it's a win in my book but Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and stay cozy till next time.